recipe for innovation? And what if there is? So this module about the session is about the innovation mix, creating a recipe for innovation. While learning chemistry at school, we would have learned that how we can make new things by mixing different things all together. Similarly, the act of mixing leads to creativity and innovation. Think of your brain as a mixing palette for various ideas and just like chemistry, some gets mixed and some don't. So new ideas get mixed with old ideas, new experiences get mixed with old experiences and new learning with old learning and new knowledge with all knowledge. So you can mix almost everything. Or it could be a cross-pollination of the idea with an experience and so on. Our thinking brain is always doing the mixing by making these neural connections, drawing comparisons, parallels, analogies, contrasts, and distinctions to arrive at conclusions. Often, our thinking process itself is making neural connections between one idea to another with one field of knowledge or with another field by you know, doing this cross-breeding of ideas and concept as we think along. Eventually, oftentimes our neural network in the brain gets triggered and we may also get a eureka moment, a eureka moment or a creative burst. This mixing process are properly known as brainstorming or mindstorming. But the innovation mix is something beyond brainstorming because it's not just limited to ideas and actions. Ideas, people, and experiments provide a greater framework for innovation when they are mixed together. What is in the innovation mix is primarily the mixing of ideas people and activities. Creativity can happen when you mix ideas and people together. And creativity can lead to innovation when we experiment different ideas. So we can innovate through the mix of different ideas, mixing different people with different uh, backgrounds and experimenting with different types of activities and exercises. All these innovation tools work well when you apply the right idea mix, people mix, and activity mix. Here the innovator must ask like a master chef who can mix the right recipes till he or she gets this saleable taste of the product, process, or service. So let's delve deeper into each of this recipe or mix. Idea mix. <clears throat> idea mix is the cross-pollination of different ideas as Matt Ridley famously described in The Rational Optimist. It's important for ideas to have sex. Cross-pollination of ideas happens when we make connections between separate things while asking the right questions and drawing the right parallels. When we connect the unconnected dots, we find new insights. Think about it. Newton and the apple. Archimedes in the bathtub. These are quite examples of how to make these connections. A new idea can be a combination of several ideas or elements. When we mix two or more elements, we need not necessarily get the answer, but if we continue to mix with other components, we might get it right. When we change the juxtapositions, angles, and perspectives, or while reframing the idea itself, we find the emergence of a new idea. When a regular phone is mixed with an idea of a camera or a music player and a computer, you know, you get a smartphone. It's a combination of different products ideas. When you combine it together, you get something else. One of the best ways to find the right ideas is to have too many ideas to pick from. It takes thousands of ideas to get one idea right. Therefore, the secret to succeeding in idea mix also lies in having a lot of ideas till we get the good one, till we get the right one. If you want to have some great ideas, you should not confine your inquiry only to your industry or to just few disciplines that you know. You must seek outside. You must seek out ideas almost everywhere. 
new revolutionary ideas can emerge from anywhere as you keep making this connection between unrelated events, facts, elements, or things. Innovative ideas can come from combining different ideas from different industries, different cultural backgrounds, different fields of study, and other disciplines. And when you draw the parallels, you will find some amazingly new great ideas. Idea mix is also about associative thinking. Associative thinking, it's the art of connecting the dots. Every great work of innovation is always a mix. It's a mix of ideas that is already there. Mix of ideas can be acquired through the diversity of exposure. To receive different types of ideas, one must be flexible enough to shift perspectives from time to time. When you think on two things simultaneously, a kind of by-association occurs. This is where the connection is established. Many of the modern-day inventions are the result of the bi-associative thinking. When wood shaving were associated with glue, chipboard was born. When you associate a skateboard with a yard, the land yard idea was born. So the real skill is in observing two isolated ideas and making the right mix of it. That is idea mix. People mix. Idea mix is a mix of multiple ideas that you can mix them right in your mind. But when you share an idea to others and others are contributing to build on that idea, you're applying the power of people mix. To help an idea shape better and to take a fuller form, you need the help of other people. Other people's ideas and contributions like feedbacks can make your creativity mature better. When people from different backgrounds come together, they can shape up an idea very differently. There are many ways to achieve this. So how do we apply people mix? Applying people mix. One of the best ways to applying people mix is through facilitating interactions between different people. Facilitate interactions. Companies have redesigned their workplaces and offices to facilitate interactions between different teams. And one of the pioneers in the area of redesigning workplace was the Bell Labs way back in 1950s. Mervyn J. Kelly joined Bell Labs in 1925 and he served as the president from 1951 to 1959. During his tenure, many inventions took place in Bell Labs. Now, Kelly took an unorthodox approach of redesigning floor segregated traditional office layout to a floor plan that is forced interaction across departments. He wanted people from various divisions to stumble over each other and be drawn to each other's work. Similarly, when Steve Jobs was designing the new headquarters for Pixar, he obsessed over how the atrium should be structured. Jobs was very particular about where the bathrooms were placed in Pixar's office because he wanted serendipitous personal encounters to occur between various teams and departments. People interactions can leverage on ideas that spring from people with different background and different skill sets. But people mix goes beyond just breaking the silos in office design. People mix can lead to great partnership between people to co-found companies. Here, two or more people complement each other's ideas to create an end product that is a bit different from what was originally planned by one person. The best place to see an active people mix is in teamwork. People mix is teamwork. When different teams and verticals work together within an organization and outside the organization, forming creative partnerships, more mixing and mingling takes place and the best of cross-pollination of ideas and insights takes place. By instituting collaboration rooms, innovation centers, and creativity labs, an organization can flourish creative collaboration among their talented workforce. Successful organizations have facilitated these interactions to innovate better. 
The cross-pollination of ideas combined with an emphasis on sharing across product lines has led to an atmosphere of collaboration that makes 3M a place where employees feel more valued. Innovation from interaction is one of those companies' favorite mottos. Employees are encouraged to present new ideas at internal tech forums, regular gatherings or peers from other divisions. And whenever they interact, they share ideas. On one sure sign that all this collaboration is working is that more than 80% of 3M's patents have more than one inventor. The company has over 20,000 patents with over 500 awarded in 2012 alone. In 2009, in the middle of a very tough economy, when all the companies were slashing their R&D budgets to save the money, 3M still managed to release over a thousand new products. So one of the best ways a team member can contribute ideas to another is through feedback. Pixar Animation Studios practices a feedback method called the plusing. At Pixar, the creative collaboration is a process of improvisation that has to be based on two key principles. First, all participants accept every offer that is made. The aim is not to negate other people's contributions, but to build on whatever they are saying, build on them. And that process is called plusing. Second, always make your work partners look good. The aim is not to judge what they produce, but to help make something out of it and raise everybody's game. Through these methods, one is able to amplify another person's contribution. Here, ideas are not discouraged, rather they are appraised to see the feasibility of an idea before they are completely dismissed. People Mix works on the principle of complementing strengths with others' weaknesses. When people work as a team and each team player complements one another, something extraordinary is created together, a product that will have the least downsides and more pluses. Another way to improve the people mix is to encourage diversity within the team. One of the key aspects of people mix is the diversity. In a study conducted by faculty from the Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University, it was found that diverse groups outperformed more homogeneous groups, not because of an influx of new ideas, but because of diversity triggered more careful information processing that is absent in homogeneous groups. Cultural, cognitive, and gender diversity in particular brings in diverse experiences skill sets and perspectives. Companies such as Google, Toyota and 3M believe that diversity is an invaluable ingredient that leads to great innovations. What a Lipman wrote once, when all think alike then nobody is thinking. The path of the diversity is not in thinking alike but in thinking differently. As the saying goes, don't surround yourself with yourself. To get new ideas, you have to swim in different gene pool. The magic really happens when diverse perspectives and experiences come together to form something entirely new. One person's experience working as a college intern in Wall Street may fuse with another person's experience of growing up in a village in India to generate a fresh idea that neither would have considered independently. This melting pot approach can drive some of the most creative cultures, thinking, and ultimately business results. What diversity brings to the table is the perspective power. Sometimes the fresh perspectives are the results of injecting new minds into an old one. When Steve Jobs made an comeback to Apple in 1997, he was accompanied by his team from Pixar, a bunch of animators, technicians, and creative artists who knew nothing much about a computer company. But they amounted to a different perspective power for Apple to think differently about their businesses. As a result, the computer company was morphed into a technological and marketing innovation giving multiple franchises of iPod, iPhone, and iPod within a decade. 
Diversity is the birthplace of perspective power. By the combination of various ideas, new ideas are born. Remember that. So if you want to have fresh ideas, search for ideas everywhere. Search in places that you never attempted before. Tap into the wisdom of the crowd. The next big idea can come from anywhere. It could be from an employee or a customer, or a business associate, or a complete stranger. When people mingle and open up their minds to contribute value, share ideas over feedbacks, amidst, amidst all this chaos and cacophony, some great ideas also get discussed and shared. That is the power of paper mix. Activity mix. Activity mix is doing many things differently till innovation takes the final shape for market acceptance. Activity mix is experimentation. Successful innovations are often the results of doing a series of activities or experiments till you get it right. Experimentation is a process of overcoming obstacles, roadblocks, and uncertainties of unfavorable outcomes till we achieve the intended results. Even though experimenting requires the consideration of a number of options, many of which will not work, but they are usually taken on with some thought for potential outcomes. To do experimentations better, there must be a budget to make mistakes. Moreover, every failure must be documented as learning experiences. Edison's story of inventing the electric bulb is anecdotal for failures and experimentation. Edison once said, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. What he meant by perspiration is sheer hard work for experimentation. He took over 50,000 experiments to invent the alkaline storage cell battery and 9,000 to perfect the light bulb. Edison looked at creativity as simple, good, honest, hard work of perspiration. In experiments, success and failures are certain. But to increase the certainty for success, we can experiment by testing new information and adapting new approaches. Experimentation is the key because experimentation often involves the identification of new models and hypotheses. When we experiment new models, successful models will emerge eventually after many failures. Experimenting prompts innovations to relentlessly try out new experiences, measures and improvements, make alterations till they are finally acceptable. Therefore, I experiment, therefore I innovate, could become a perfect dictum for innovations. For example, James Dyson, the inventor of the Dyson vacuum cleaner, failed more than 5,100 prototypes before getting it just right. In fact, nearly every breakthrough innovation in history come after countless setbacks, mistakes, and failures. The great innovators and achievers were necessarily the smarter or inherently more talented people. They simply realized their fear of failure and they kept on trying. They didn't, they didn't let the setbacks or misfires to extinguish their curiosity and imagination. They failed forward. They learned from their mistakes. They learned from their failures. Failing forward means taking risk and increasing the rate of experimentation. Some bets will pay off, some will not. The key is to quickly and fail smart. Moreover, the number of failures will definitely count for your success. This means to increase the rate of success, you have to increase the rate of failures. There is no success without failures. Therefore, failure acceptance is one of the basics of innovation. And the truth of the matter is that we might even learn from most of our failures than our successes. Honda founder, Sochiro Honda once said, success is 99% failure. Successful innovations are a numbers game. Some succeed and some don't. Even though Albert Einstein published more than 300 journal articles between 1901 to 1955, only a handful of them were successful theories. The truth of the matter is that innovations succeed in all of them. 90% of innovations fail at some point, and some statistics suggest that that figure is almost 97%. By principle, 
An act of innovation is taking risk with reward at the end. During 1997 to 1998, Apple could take high risk because they were in the brink of going cashless. They did not have any option except to bet on their guts and creativity. And that bet paid off. Continuing to do the things the same old way does not create any new results. That's the recipe for insanity. Doing the same thing all over again and expecting a different results. Activity mix suggests that different types of activities are not the repetition of the same. You don't stick to the same method. You will try new different methods. You will try new things. To succeed in innovation, we must bank on possibilities and not probabilities. Possibilities are the wings that source innovation to new heights. It's easier to ride a horse where the horse is headed. The challenge for any innovator is to chart a new course of action to meet a new direction. And this requires immense habit change of not only thinking differently, but also doing differently. Mixing is a science and an art. To innovate, organizations and teams must think like artists who carefully pick different colors from a palette and using different brushes for getting the right strokes that will complete a great art. The ability to mix and match different ideas, knowledge, information, perspectives, experiments, feedbacks, customer needs, and pressing concerns gives the innovator the cutting edge to innovate. Overall, innovation process is a mixing process of ideas, people, and activities that produce a desired outcome.